So let's talk about tools. From the top left, you, the first tool that we have is select box. And select box is uh, selecting with a rectangle. And for better s practice of selection, first let's uh, delete light and uh, camera. We can simply select them and click delete. For practice, we're gonna use the cubes from our last scene or you can download it from the description. Now, I want to look to our cubes from the top position. So I come here, click on Z, and you can see that I can look my object from the top. So for select box, I can simply click anywhere I want and I can select the cubes that I want. But every time I select some of the cubes, the last selection is gonna be deselected so how to add my selection to the previous one i can simply hold the shift click and with selecting a couple of boxes you can see that my selection add to the previous one um, shift click shift click shift click it's gonna add to the previous one if i want to deselect some of the boxes I can hold control and select and you can see that with control selection some of the cubes is, is gonna be deselected and for example I want to create a positive sign I select all of them then I'm gonna deselect this part with control click I'm gonna control click this part I'm gonna control click this part I'm gonna control click this part and this part is uh, deselected wrong, so I want to add. So again, I hold shift and select, and this part is gonna be selected. So this is select box. There are also other type of selection. For example, we have select circle. Select circle is more uh, about dragging over by clicking and holding the left click and dragging over our object and selecting whatever different objects that we want and like the select box every time you left and drag the last selection is gonna deselect it so you can hold shift and select so that you can add the previous selection to this one and if you want to deselect some of your object you can hold control and move over them but the thing you need to know about select circle is select circle select object based on their origin and not the whole object for example uh, if i come close and drag over this part of object you can see that the object isn't selected but with uh, select box every time i even drag over a small part of the object it's gonna be selected so when you select it you need to make sure that you hover over the object origin an object origin is a center point that every object has and it can change and we're gonna talk about object origin in the future lessons and if you want to make uh, the size of select circle bigger you can come here and by left click and the right you can make the circle bigger the last selection tool is select lasso and select lasso is for free selection and with select lasso you can select any shape you want for example i can select this kind of shape okay and I can if I want to add something I can hold shift and add something and if I want to deselect some part of the object I can deselect any part I want so I think that's enough for selections there is also another tools that if you hold on tools and look at here you see the tweak tools tweak tools is more like selecting grabbing and moving the object at the same time 
so if I hover on one of the object and left click and hold and drag my mouse you can see that I can move my object you can also first hold the shift and select on a couple of objects and then left click and drag them and this is tools and if you want to switch between tools you can use the shortcut w and you can see that with w i can switch between tools but there are another couple of shortcuts for select box select circle and select lasso so if you don't like to use the shortcuts uh, you can just skip the rest of the video but if you are one of the shortcut lovers like me let me tell you what are their shortcuts first let me deselect all of the boxes or cubes and activate these tools if i want to select some of the cubes the select box shortcut is b select box box b so if I press B on my keyboard, I can activate the tools and select some of the cubes that I want. But uh, you want to know that the shortcut is adding your selection to the previous one. It's not like the tool that every time you select the previous selection is deselected. So if I press B again, you can see that my selection add to the previous one. Okay so the next shortcut is select lasso uh, select circle and select circle has a short let me first deselect and then back to here the select circle shortcut is c circle c so if i press c you can see that circle like the select circle tools appear and if i left click and drag you can see that i can add my selection if you want to uh, deselect some of the object instead of using the control key you need to press alt key so if i pr hold the alt key and click you can see that i can deselect my cubes and if you want to back to the previous tools for example you want to deactivate the select tool and back to the annotate tools if you uh, look at here you, you see that the confirm is for confirming and if i press s I can uh, deactivate the select circle tools. And the select lasso shortcut is control and right click instead of the le left click. So if I hold the control and right click, I can select any shape or any type of object I want. And this is the shortcut for the selection tools. In the next video, we're going to talk about the move, rotate, and escape tools. See you on the next video. And that is for selection tools. Selection tools are going to be also the same in edit mode. I suggest that you first play with them and see which one of them you feel more comfortable with and try to get used to that one. And if this video was helpful to you, you can subscribe or like. See you on the next video.